just to echo what a lot of the people have said coming up, uh, it's a really exciting opportunity to run this piece of legislation. Um, running with Lita Driscoll in the House, and this is an issue that, that she's been working on for several years. <coughs> Down in Palm Beach County, we have a site called the Storm of 1928 site. At one point, it was a mass burial. After the Storm of 28, people were just dumped there, African <coughs> Americans, and uh, we have a historical marker on it. This goes in that direction of finding some of these sites where there's been African Americans who've been buried, buried or historical cemeteries that are uh, have been abandoned or neglected. Uh, this legislation, of course, is in response to major outcries following news reports of the forgotten and largely erased African American cemeteries, in some cases, underlying structures and roadways across the Sunshine State. Uh, in 2019, the Tampa Bay Times published the results of its investigation into Zion Cemetery, which was the first African American cemetery recognized by the city of Tampa, and it was established in 1901, where more than 300 souls were buried in the early 1900s. This is a good piece of legislation that really pulls up some of the history and helps document where people are and those souls. And it's a sacred piece of legislation. With that, I ask for everyone's favorable support in this good bill, Senate Bill 430. Thank you, and I close.